Glad to see everyone here. Everybody got down safely uh, from the parts of this county. Um, we have some vacancy and notices to fill. We have some, uh, you know, work in that uh, way to go. What I have right now before you um, is a notice to fill for reporting clerk uh, grade seven in the county clerk's office. That is, uh, as part of the county clerk operation. So um, that particular. Um, position is now is going to be vacant in in the month of um, in February due to retirement. The person has been with us ten years and is retiring out. Oh. And is retiring out at that point in time. Um, responsibilities it is the recording responsibilities of the county clerk's office, your in indexing re uh, reproduction, um, filing of all of the various documents that come into the clerk as well as all the court. We handle, you know, a few hundred thousand pages um, every year in terms of recordings and filings and um, I think you're kind of familiar with our office and how we go about things. Constitutional office is all encoded in law so you can take out a number of law books and, and you will find our work uh, throughout it. Um, this is funded. It's been a, a position in the county uh, clerk's office and it is funded um, and uh, <coughs> actually will be filled at, a, at the base. So I expect that you're going to see, um, you know, uh, a reduction there in terms of the actual salary according to that. It will come from a civil service list, um, a full-time recording clerk, and it will have all the benefits that are accorded that position by contract. <coughs> that is the uh, recording clerk. We have a similar position, if I could just uh, move on to that, that notice is to fill. That's a part-time. It's part-time because at one point we had that as a full-time. And over the course of these <coughs> last few years, uh, the, uh, we consolidated that position and we did some work and reorganization in the office when the county was in a, in a, in a different state. <coughs> and, um, you know, um, and so that became a, a part-time um, position is more devoted, devoted to the court imaging component of the office, so it's very focused on that. Um, we have a lot there to do as well. That one is a thousand hours and uh, part-time, still a grade seven, still requires the civil service list to work from. Hopefully we can, uh, but um, that is what it requires. If it if we cannot fill from that list, if we don't get a taker for a part time, which has been happening, um, we will then resort to posting. But we will go to civil service first on that. So um, we have had, you know, that particular uh, position like that open, and and uh, we are waiting sometimes, quite quite some time. People are accepting the part time. They're still looking for the full time. So. So those are um, two vacancies that I have um, in the county clerk's office, and I would ask your consideration of those at this time. Uh, and any questions? I'll move that, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Mr. Montessi, second by Ms. Frazier. Are we doing one and two? Or one and two. Yeah, okay. Any discussion on this? All in favor? Aye. 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 Carried. Okay. And also I would ask on items three and four, we have uh, a motor vehicle license reg clerk full time. Um, I'm asking for an extension on that. We had actually filled that at one point, but the person um, did move out of the position. So we're kind of back to 
square one with that. Um, and as well, the same thing happened with the part-time, because the part-time person became the person that went to the full-time, created that opening, and um, again, now we have those two vacancies to address. We have um, a little bit of a, le a list left from motor vehicle, um, the civil service eligible, but we had a test in uh, October of this year, of 2016, so we um, we are still waiting for that, the results of that. I do think that they will, I'm hoping they'll be here very soon. They, it's usually about 12 weeks, though, unfortunately, for us to get the results on these lists. Uh, but at any rate, we hope to go forward uh, and, and get those positions um, settled. And I uh, appreciate your consideration of that as well. And these are extensions. They were approved previously by this body or the previous uh, body. I'll move both of them. Okay, motion by Peter. Second by Edna. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you so You're much. Travel safely. Yeah. How do you do? You as well. Mike? You too? You're going to get us back on schedule here, right? Yep. Just say yes to everything. We'll be out here on time. <laughs> so I have a uh, three resolution requests instead of going one by one, they're all related to each other. So let me tell you my story. Okay. About a year and a half ago, we had a long-term programmer here at the county resigned, and it was most IT positions we had because the job descriptions are written around the person, which makes it very difficult to fill the position later. So knowing that was going to happen, we took some time to rewrite the job description, kind of break it into three levels so that if we don't find an experienced person, we have an expectation of an experience, and someone with a little bit of experience, someone with a lot, written down ahead of time and not around the person. So we've taken our time to do that right. But then, so we advertised for somebody this fall for eight weeks, we got zero applications. I think one of the big reasons is because the position won't come open, we advertise provisional, and I think it's a scary word, we don't get any applications. So it's like, all right, we kind of expected that, so let's take a step back and we'll hire an inexperienced person and utilize the college we have right here we've never been able to, and we'll do that. Okay, we're still you know, sucking up through the extra work, we're all right. But then, um, my old job at Sheriff's Office, the person there wasn't quite working out, and that person was let go a couple months ago. So we're down to two people. It's like, all right, we can fill that gap. But once again, we didn't get a lot of applicants before. We'll take our time, do the test, and so we don't use provisional. Then we're starting to work on that, and then another employee just put his resignation in because he found a job closer to home at more salary. Um, and so now here we are, down three people out of seven. So, and so that brings me to where I am today. So, you know, like my biggest issue I see right now is I have another person in my office that he's doing the same job as the person just leaving, being paid less money than that person, and he's you know, probably somebody who's probably on the cusp of, of looking around, and I think we need to start recognizing that experience has been over 10 years, and with IT work has changed so much, there's a lot of need, and there's just not a lot of people anymore. So that brings me to my three resolutions, and in the one resolution I want to take to the person I've got, change his title to something more appropriate to the job he's doing and will be doing because of this other person leaving and adjust the salary accordingly. And then because we're taking the route of doing the test to hire people so we can get a bigger pool of people, it's going to create a minimum of eight weeks to get people in here. So I'd like to hire a temporary person to help out while we're in that, that transition period. And then the last resolution is to get permission to fill the person that is leaving. And then the biggest thing, of course, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if we feel somebody's worth more, we still have to pay for it, we gotta find money somewhere. And then the coincidence of that we had budgeted an experienced programmer, but we're looking at hiring an inexperienced one that leaves a gap of money, and like half of that gap would bring our other person to where they should be. So at the end of the day, my budget's not gonna go up, it's still gonna go down with, with all these requests that I got. <laughs> Rachel? I'll move all three, please. I'll second. By Rachel, second by Ron. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Can, I, can I just make one comment? After Rachel does. Yeah. Oh, I got my hand up before She's quicker on the job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just want to, and I've been meaning to talk with our budget officer about this, uh, but, you know, as we're looking at the goals of all the different department heads, <coughs> there's one common theme, and that common theme relates to IT. 
everyone has goals and objectives that they want to meet um, in a way to advance their department, but they all fall, um, uh, the majority of them fall to our IT department to assist with that process. I think that, I mean, obviously your, your latest resignation, uh, we're losing people that have been here decades uh, because they recognize that other departments of the state and federal government are offering incredible um, opportunities for them, which, by the way, all have performance work plans as well. So there's something to be said for taking a new job and knowing how your salary will be increased, providing you're a good employee. Uh, but I would really like to be able to look this year at adding additional positions into the IT department. I think it's we don't want to set anybody up for failure. And our IT department is incredible and working very hard. But I know even I have goals that I'd like to see implemented in the county as it relates to reaching out to our community using IT. But I think we've got to really take a hard look at staffing that department with competitive salaries. Um, I mean, your last time you, you put out a job description, we didn't have anybody or an opening apply right. to the programmer. Yeah, and I think part of that exchange salary is the work provisional. So we just got to right. work from the list and not do that. Have you been to Mike's closet, I mean office? <laughs> I just spent an hour there this morning. <laughs> um, but I really, I feel very strongly about this. I hope that our budget team and our finance chair will take a look at really staffing this very vital, you know, it's a vital department to the success of the county as a whole. And I think we need to give our department heads that support um, and, and recognize that we can't do what we've been doing, business as usual. It's not working. Um, yeah. Hope we can change that this year. My observation is much, much simpler, okay? I just, uh, uh, from the, the day you first started with your first, uh, you know, committee meeting, like the, the clarity and neatness of, in the formatting of your, uh, of your presentation is like from A to Z, okay? So it, I mean, yep. it just, it just looks good. I'm trainable. <laughs> <laughs> been working with personnel and civil service. We, that's what we were working on the last year is to recognize the different levels based on years and such. <laughs> it's just getting a little ahead of us. That was a, you know, we've got those all set up to approach during the budget process this year, but all of a sudden it's like, whoop, there's a kick in the pants. we got to go a little quicker. So. I think the nature of, of the industry is kind of unique, okay? You give someone that's got semi-star quality, uh, uh, probably the number that we can provide them at Warren County. It's not going to be the number that they're going to be able to, to get somewhere else. So it, uh, it's uh, I, I, the nature of the industry. I think is uh, is uh, a little bit unique. So. Mm -hmm. And our biggest safeguard was nobody wants to drive to Albany, but this uh, office they moved into Saratoga. <laughs> that didn't help. They're getting closer. Well, and just to add, I mean, I I can only speak for myself, but I know many of our colleagues on the board agree, we don't ever want to not have someone better themselves. I mean, we, we're all for wanting people to advance into other opportunities. It's a loss for the county, but we recognize, you know, we can't compete with that. I just think maybe adding more staff, I, like Frank said, you know, you guys have looked at the budget and the salaries this year, but it looks like we're going to have to look at them again and give you some more bodies um, because if we can't get anyone to apply for jobs. <laughs> it's a problem. One positive for the county, he was very reluctant to leave because he does like working for the county, but the dollars are there, so. Hopefully we'll be able to keep the one that we use off and back up. Yep, hopefully. <coughs> how much, how uncompetitive were we with Saratoga? Right now, I'm still getting information. We're, we're always kind of like a little above Washington, a little below. Saratoga. I'm trying to get updated numbers with them um, to see the predicament they're in as well. They're kind of facing the same things and it's been a little slow getting information on putting that all together to see how we compare and, and right. we're supposed to all meet kind of share our, our struggles together and see how to address them together. Okay. So I can have more information to present later to see how far off we are. Well thanks Mike. You've given us, us a lot of food for thought today. Thank you. Is there anything else to come before the committee? Who's in favor?
favor this motion. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. Good to go. Thank you. Anything else? Nope. Mr. Chairman? I just want to say, um, Ron, it's very nice to see you back in the chair. And you absolutely win the sweater contest today. <laughs> I'll pick up my prize later. Tom and I, we fully concede. <laughs> okay, then. Motion. <laughs> to adjourn. Adjourn. A second. Okay. Back on schedule. Right on time, huh? Well, you said you were going to do it, Ron. Okay.